Hi, old guy here. Today we're going to talk about making mini wire brushes. They look like this. The reason I use them is sometimes when you're cleaning parts on a car, there's like a recessed area and you can't get in there with most of your standard wire brushes you buy at the, you know, the local hardware store. So sometimes you have to improvise. And one of the ways to improvise is making one of these. Now you chuck this up in a drill and you can get in small places. Now, this is what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about making your own because that way you get the size you want. Maybe you need a shorter lead in here or it may be a longer lead. You can make it any way you want to. It's real simple, easy to do, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're making a mini wire brush for getting into tight locations. You just chuck it up in your drill bit and you can get into those tiny places. This is what we have. We got a piece of copper tube. Now this copper tube is, you know, I had it around, I don't know, can't remember what it went to. I think it was a, a yard sprayer, a piece of wire rope, a round file, a half round file, and a piece of wire. So what is this piece of wire you ask? Well, this is how you hold a piece of tubing like this in a vise so you can actually work on it. So you've got your tube. Now, you don't have to use this kind of wire. This happens to be uh, rebar wire. Anyway, you stick it in the vise. You get really close to where you're gonna do it. You grab the wire underneath with a pair of pliers. You pull it down tight. You tighten it up. And now it's not really going anywhere. Now you can cut it. Now, I cut it with a hacksaw. Basically, you could cut it with a, with a Dremel if you have a real thin bit, but I just basically cut it. You can use this too. If you want, get it started, whatever. Is it perfectly tight? No, you're gonna have to play with it and try to keep your cut straight. So now you've cut your piece of tubing you're going to have burrs on the inside. You don't want burrs on the inside. So you take your half round small file and you file up against the edge. In this way, you get rid of the burrs inside. Not too difficult to do. You can take it out of the vise at this point if you want to. Sometimes I just feel it's easier to leave it in. The other thing you want to do Depending upon the size of your wire rope, you may need to spread this. So you spread it open. This way it makes it easier to get your wire rope in it. Okay? Doesn't take much. Just takes a little. Okay, so now you've spread your jaws a little bit. You may even have to use a bigger screwdriver to get it wider. You come back over to get your grab. You've got your wire rope. Now, if you need to find out how to cut this wire rope, there's a video that for this on my page. So you slip it in there, okay? Now, depending upon how much you want sticking out is how far you chuck it up, all right? You've got this size. This one here is a little bit shorter. Just remember, the amount you have sticking out here, it's gonna mushroom, so 
you need to determine that. You'll get a feel for it. Now the other thing I like about using this copper tube is when this brush wears out at the end, I can still separate this with a screwdriver, pull it out, and stick another one in. So all I'm doing is making one cover and the wire rope. And I just, I've always got my tool. I just replace it with another piece of wire rope. Now the last part of this is, this plastic part of this vise or nylon is round. So in order to make sure this doesn't spin, you need to clamp it back down. What I do is I stick it in here with the top up, put it in here, clamp it down, tighten it up, Still, I need a little more. You can also pull it out, clamp it along the length to make sure you got it all. It will no longer twist. Now it's tight. You can chuck it up in your drill and you're ready to go. Okay, like I said when I was over at the vise, just chuck it up in your drill motor. And you're ready to use your small wire brush. It's definitely a lot better than trying to use one of these or one of these to get in tight places. There we go. That's what I do. You don't have to.